Good day everybody. Today we are working on our basic tool agent with Llama Index and Olama on our local machine here. This is all run locally. It is not connecting to ChatGPT or any other OpenAI external service. Everything is running locally on our machine today. And to implement this, we are using Olama and Llama Index. So let's get to it. First, we're going to define our agent. I was having a conflict of whether to do this as a class-based approach or a functional-based approach. And I decided to do it as a functional-based approach or this time with a basically a parent function with nested child functions within the, the main agent function here. And I probably will refactor it down the line as a class-based structure. But anyway, we have our imports here. From Llama Index, we're importing Olama. From Llama Index, we're importing a React Agent, which is going to be our tool agent for today. And we are importing Base Tool and Function Tool from Core Tools Llama Index. And I don't think we're using Base Tool, we're just using Function Tool today. But this was in the documentation, so it's just like uh, we're also importing random and request to do some basic web scripting. I figured that the main use case for this sort of uh, technology would be to scrape the web and get information. So we're going to implement a basic form of that today. And then we're going to parse the information we get with beautiful, beautiful suit 4 and the BS4. So here's our custom tools that we're defining today. The first one is just a random number generator that generates a random number from 1 to 100 just to test to see if they can recognize the, any functions in the agent. Uh, now we're going to uh, get text from body and we're going to specify a URL that we're going to pass into the language model when we're chatting with it. And if all goes as planned, the agent will go to the URL and extract the data that we want extracted. Originally, I had a big, you know, jumbled uh, function that just collected every tag on the page, but the LLM, at least Llama 3, didn't seem to uh, enjoy the big string and didn't really return any usable data. And moving forward, it's definitely going to be. Uh, we're going to need to implement a vector store, a vector database. I think the, uh, the data can be interacted with much more efficiently that way. But anyway, we're just passing in a rather large string to our model today, which is going to be Llama 3. But anyway, here we go. Uh, we're going to get our response, which is going to be our request that we send out to the specified URL. And if the response is good, we get something. The HTML content is going to be the response.txt. And then once we get the content, we're going to parse it with beautiful soup and return a object, which is called soup in this case. And then we're going to find all the body tags in the soup uh, object. So if we have a body tag, we're going to strip the tag and get back the text so this is going to allow us to get all the text from the body tag of a particular website and then uh, if the body tag is not found we're not going to return anything and if we can't get anything in the first place we're going to fail and return nothing. The next function is our getting uh, all image tags and again we're going to impute the URL from the chat interface of the yellow them and here we uh, or uh, define rather a uh, image tags array and we are passing in the image tags that we get from our scraped HTML response into our tags array we are appending all 
and all the image tags to be parsed. Uh, the next function is get all href tags, again from a particular URL. And the same deal, so we're just getting the href tags. And now, for the agent, we are instancing the tools for uh, so the agent can, can see them. We are getting all href tags tool equals uh, our function tool which from default that we imported from up here. And here, this is our function that we defined here. Href right here, so we are, we don't include the uh, the tuple uh, end on the function. Omit that. That was uh, something that confused me for a minute. But anyway, here we have we're defining all our functions for our agent to utilize, and we are instancing our Olama client which is going to be our LLM and it's Llama 3 with a hefty timeout and here we have our agent that is a React agent we imported from React agent and then from tools we pass in all our tools that we defined here that we from our functions from up here. Uh, LLM equals LLM, which is a llama, llama 3, for both equals true, so we can see the quote unquote dots of our machine here. Uh, while true, this is our, our action loop, or game loop as it were. Uh, we have our user input, which is an input that's typed in at this point. We have our chat injection, which is a super uh, simple chat injection for this use case. And our response is going to be our agent uh, chat, and we are imputing 